So it's the same, same uh, wrapping method. We're going further down on where the cast is going to finish. We're going to trim back those edges. So a common question would be how many layers? How many layers? Well, that's lab. very dependent on the person. So if you had a teenage boy, you, you might end up using one and a half to two rolls. Mm -hmm. to make it nice and thick. Um, but a, a little old lady, one one roll is plenty. Yep. So just gauge it on the person that you're dealing with. It's, it's quite a heavy um, cast for some people to manage. You've got to look at a back slab as being first aid. It's it's um, temporary. It's swollen and swelling. Once the spine goes down, they'll come to our patients and we'll replace it with a full cast. So, so now I'm just going to measure. Um, so I'm just going to those the cuts because that's going to fold back. So I'll just end up dropping it down like that and just. You can just roll it backwards and forwards. If you roll it over and over itself, it ends up a little bit longer. So if you just sort of concertina it, just keep the right length. These are fairly quick to put on anyway. So always have everything ready to go. Your um, coat bandage, some bit of tape. Tape. Just have them all good to go. So, if you want to make this, um, you can either fold that back when it's wet, or you can cut the half circle out. It might get less bulky if you do that. There's a fair few layers there, so one roll is probably at least 10 layers there, I'd say. Tip it in the bucket. Once you wet it though, it slings it down a bit. Okay, and we'll just line that on. Tapping those back. Another thing you can do with these is you can make um, ridges in it. That just gives it a third dimension, gives it a bit more strength. This person's got some swelling there, that's why you've put a back slab on. What will happen then is um, this cast will start to loosen up when the swelling goes down and they'll come into our patients and we'll do a replacement cast. We can just get them to sit and chat to them about the do's and don'ts. Don't poke anything down the cast, um, don't drive a car, you're not covered by insurance. A lot of people don't realise that or pretend they don't know about it. Um, but you should always advise them, don't drive a car with a cast on. Um, they consider you incapacitated. If you have an accident, you, they won't want to know about it. You're in a lot of trouble. Um, yeah, so, and then just tell them if they have any issues with it to come back into emergency. And we'll check it out again.